What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Today is May 6th, 2015. Yesterday, um, I went down to shore, Seaside Heights, Barnegat Bay. No success. Fish for about two hours without <laughs> a single fish. Actually, lots of folks were fishing there for bluefish. I didn't see anything getting landed. So today I decided to hit the Delaware Canal one more time. But you know, I have much more time to fish today. At least much more time than the last time I came here fishing. So you know, I think it's going to be more productive. Uh, it's a cloudy day. Not a lot of people outside. I mean, it is early, okay? It's uh, <laughs> it's like 9 a.m. right now, 8.30 a.m. I got to start at the same spot that I fished last time. Right over here. Got to tie on eye crawler and see what I can catch. And eventually, this time, I'm going to walk downwards. I'm going to be casting a spinner, an inline spinner for largemouth bass and chain pickerel. And, you know, we'll see how everything is. If I find some carp feeding, I may tie it on an eye crawler and cast right over there. Same thing with the catfish. You know, but anyways, we, I, I would be... Wow, there's a carp swimming right in front of me, right here. <laughs> anyways, I'll keep you guys updated, all right? Alright, I'm gonna put a new piece of night crawler on. No secrets, I'm using Walmart night crawlers today because you know didn't have many choices. Size 6 hook, 12 pound fluorocarbon, Berkeley Vanish, same setup as always. My Shimano 4000 symmetry with my Cortland Endurance noodle rod. And I'm gonna cast right around here. See if anything comes out to get it. Okay, come on. Right. Let's see. Perfect. This time, this place, the water temperature in this place is much higher. So, you know, I would assume that the trout wouldn't really be here. Ooh, I missed a, a little fish. Anyways, I just saw something boiled over here, so let's cast right over here and see if anything comes out to get it. Ooh, man, oh yeah, I had a bite right away, saw my night crawler disappear, so we'll try again. Yeah, I had a big boil over here. Yeah, what is this? Oh, man, it's a sunny. This is a bluegill green sunfish hybrid, all right? Yeah, it is a hybrid. Look at the size of the mouth. Definitely bigger than a bluegill. These colorations over here are from the green sunfish. Vertical stripes and little blue coloration here from the bluegill. All right, let's release this guy. Take a quick photo of him. This is uh, my first fish of the day. And for a multi-species angler, you know, like I, I always mention to my friends, any fish is a good fish. Doesn't matter the size, the color, the shape. Fish is a fish, you know? All right, I'll come back to try to catch more fish. Okay, good. Not bad, not bad. Let me cast a little bit closer the structure yeah there we go perfect okay, nothing on that side All right, what we got here we got a nice green sunfish all right second species for the day this is an authentic green sunfish not hybrid right let's take a quick photo of it Gotta put it back. All right, good to go. You guys can have a nice view on it. This green sunfish has been here for a while too. You see these little black dots here? 
they're parasites, all right? When you catch a fish like that with these black green dots and you cook it well, well, you know, it's not gonna really hurt you. But anyways, I wouldn't want to take a fish out of a place with parasites. I mean, just saying, you know? Just for future references. So, all right, there we go, oops. Gotta put this little fella back. All righty, good to go. What we got here now, small, but we got an authentic bluegill. Yes, so there you go. We got the hybrid, the green sunfish, and now the, the authentic bluegill. So yeah, no wonder there are hybrids here, you know. <laughs> All right, there you go. I'm not gonna take a photo of this little guy. I'm gonna let it go. Oh, I got one. Yes, whatever this is. Okay, it's a trout. First trout of the day on the night crawler. Small guy. There we go. Rimmon trout. Wow, the thing's all messed up and stuff. Anyways, this one I'm gonna take home to each. So you know I'm not too concerned about safe handling and stuff. Just gonna take a photo. First trout of the day on the night crawler. Okay, that's a good spot. Just gonna leave it there for a little while. See if anything bites. Check my messages. Whoa, my line went slack. Maybe the current is dragging my my power bait. What small bites? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, got a bite, got a bite. Got a bite. Fish on. Fish on. Smallest freaking trout I've ever seen, but a trout is a trout, right? On the power bait. Yes. Success. Trout on the power bait at the Delaware Canal. Oh, yes. I'm gonna unhook this little fella. Man, this is gonna be my dinner today. Yes, there we go. All right, all right, buddy. All right, all right. There we go. Hmm? Beautiful. Beautiful and dinner. Time to go down.
try to get some largemouth bass, some chain pickerel, leave the trout behind. Right, what we got here? We got here a miniature largemouth bass on the spinner. Super miniature. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Uh, man, this fish can be greedy. Can give it that much. All right, let me take a photo of it and put it back. Miniature largemouth bass on the inline spinner. Right at the current, waiting, you know, to get whatever it passes to each. All right, fish on. Man, another miniature largemouth bass. What is going on here? Come on, come on. Bring me your great grandfather. There we go. Another miniature largemouth bass on the inline spinner. Seriously though, we need we need something bigger than this today. You know, much much bigger than this. All right, all right, go little guy. This is a nice carping spot if you think about it. Shallow. There are plenty of carp here, just don't know where they are right now. Place to run, spinner. Not a lot of leaves. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, folks. Don't know what it is. Seems to be always oh, a bass. Yes, yes, sir. Fish on. Finally, a, a one that is a little bit fat. All right. All right, now this is this is an okay. I, I'm happy with a size like this over here. Okay, yeah. Let's unhook this guy. Take a quick photo and release. All right, good to go. Yeah, there we go. Let's take a quick photo of it. All right, my cropterus. My cropterus. Salmoides on inline spinner. Let's take a photo of it. Perfect. Now let's release it over here. Oh boy. Okay. Whoa, all right, full of energy. He was ready to go. Oh, oh, I missed three bites right over here. Oh, and of course, my lure needs to get tangled. Three bites right over here. So we'll try to catch the fish again. And we'll have to see if that fish is still here, but. Three bites right around here. For the third bite, the fish just gave up. Oh, tell me there's something biting here. Cast again. I'll give a couple more casts here. I don't know what type of fish was it, so... That 
fish did not give up, man. He gave three bites before giving up. Well, now I don't know where that fish is at. Oh, fish shot, fish shot, fish shot. Oh, all right. Oh, okay, so we lost it, but that was the fish I was talking about. Just so you guys know. All right. Fish on, pickerel. It's a chain pickerel. I see it. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Hey, <laughs> that's what I came for. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Have to get you out of the water, buddy. Nice chain, nice chain pickerel. Nice chain pickerel. That's what we came for. That's what we came for. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, all right, buddy. All right. She inhaled it. Nice. Nice pickerel. I'm gonna unhook it really, really quick and release it. In Pennsylvania, all right? All right, time to unhook this guy. All right, and unhook this little fella. Now it's time to let it go. Wait, wait, buddy, wait, 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 wait. All right. He's ready to go. That pickerel is ready to go. All right, he's good to go. Oh, whoa, all right, bite right in front of me, let me put some line back here, and we got ourselves a big bluegill, okay, splash some water in my hands already, big bluegill, all right, ready to go. This looks like a prime spot for largemouth bass. These branches and stuff. Okay, let's right there. Perfect. Fish on. <laughs> Another miniature largemouth bass. Oh man, inhale my bait, but come on, I'm not even gonna take a photo now. It's not even funny anymore. All right, there we go. Let me take this viewer out of him. Okay, all right. There we go, ready to go.